Hey O-Scalers, my name is Ron. Today I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to be upgrading a vintage Lionel number 163 searchlight block signal from the post-war era. Came with um, these little uh, light bulbs, uh, a red one and a green one. I bought this at a flea market a few days ago and come to find out that it only had uh, one light bulb and then the red one. So I thought, oh, what a good project would be to upgrade this to uh, more modern uh, technology uh, using LED lighting. So let's get started. So a few things you're going to need before you get started. Uh, you're going to need uh, one 3mm green LED from Evans Design and one red LED from Evans Design. Uh, Evans Design provides a uh, a rectifier already on the LED so they work on DC or AC applications uh, very easy to install and just simple wiring is required. You also need a soldering iron and probably a Dremel tool to uh, hone out some of the uh, plastic parts of the uh, head of the signal. First thing you want to do is you want to desolder the three wires here on the bottom of the terminal posts. And then bend back the ladder connections right here. That will make the ladder come out and you can disassemble the whole the whole signal. Disconnecting the ladder. And the whole thing disassembles. Now you got to take out this little pop rivet right here. It pushes through from the other side and the whole assembly will, will come out. Taking the little pop rivet out, now you have the wires coming up to the coils. Those coils are what held the uh, light bulbs. We're going to remove all the wiring and the coils and just leave the open part of the signal head. With all the wires out, you can discard all these. You won't need that. And now we're going to go ahead and get this, prepare this for the LEDs. As you can see, the LEDs do not fit in the small hole where the other wires came up originally. So what I'm going to have to do is you take a Dremel tool with a small rotary bit and just hone that out ever so slightly enough to accommodate the width of the LED. Also when you're honing out, there's two little small ribs right here. You're going to need to remove those also so you can allow the LEDs to fit. After honing out the, the signal head a little bit, hone out the, the top portion of the tube here just a little bit to allow yourself a little extra room to insert the LEDs. Uh, once complete, go ahead and insert the LEDs from the bottom of the post upward and through the top of the of the signal post. Pushing the two LEDs up the post you want to position the red LED toward the top. Inserting the LEDs through the signal head you want to position again the red LED on the top. Now we're going to prepare a small mounting bracket to put a small amount of uh, glue on the back of the LEDs there to put them in position. Now we're getting ready to glue the LED lights into the fixed position of the small piece of plastic here. This piece of plastic is just the, the plastic from a the plastic packaging of a of a of batteries. And what I did I took two drilled two small eighth inch diameter holes one on top of each other and then I drilled two small holes in to this little piece of wood here. This is going to accommodate the the LEDs and I'm going to put a drop of uh, super glue on both sides here and uh, push the LEDs into the holes here. This is going to slide over on top of here. We're going to line the holes up, put a little drop of super glue there. The edges of the uh, LEDs are going to glue up there and we're going to let it set up and then we're going to trim the plastic piece here to accommodate fitting inside the uh, head of the of the signal head. Okay, I put a, 
couple of drops of super glue on the plastic and stuck the LEDs through the through the plastic and into the little holes of the block of wood. Now we're going to let this set up and dry and then we'll get to trimming the backing plate. Okay. We have allowed the LEDs to dry on the plastic backing for a few minutes. Now we're going to trim the plastic backing to accommodate the the signal head. Okay, I trimmed the backing and you may have to bend the leads a little bit to accommodate them fitting into the uh, back of the head and now we're just going to slide that into position and go ahead and put our plastic cone lens over there, the single searchlight lens. Okay, we reassembled the head, put the uh, searchlight on. Now we're going to insert the wires into the base and get ready to solder up the wires to the uh, screw connections. Okay, find two common leads from the LEDs. Uh, you can use a 9 volt battery. I hook up uh, one lead and the two leads that don't turn any lights on or LEDs on are the two common. So twist those together, tin them, and put it on the center connection. Then again you're going to find the green wire, attach it to the right side and the red wire to the left side. Okay, the wires are are soldered to the terminal post. Coil the wire up, shove it into the base and it's time for testing. Okay, ready for testing. Go ahead and try the green wire. Got our solid green. And we got our solid red. So there you have it. We've completed the upgrade of the Lionel 163 searchlight block signal. Uh, you can use this with the 153C or the 153IR. I'll go ahead and hook up a 153C to it and show you how that one works. All right, we have a 153C hooked up. We have a solid green. Train comes by, activates the switch. Signal block with tuned to red and as long as the train is on the block, once the train clears the block, it will re revert back to green. You can use this on track power or auxiliary power and also may use it with the 153IR, also available through Lionel. Again, thank you very much for watching, and also you can check out my other YouTube videos, and your comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.